Hey guys, welcome to another video. I'm Chris, this is Kim, and we got Lily here today. And today, what we're, you know, last video, we went out and we we're just doing some little, uh, uh, looking for some sheep's head to see if they're in and if they're biting. So it looks like they're in, so we're gonna do a little bit of sheep's head fishing today. And this is what we're gonna do. We got a uh, simple, Kim's gonna fish the simple fish finder rig with an inline circle hook, and I'm gonna fish in a bottom sweeper jig, and all we have is shrimp, and, uh, you know, see which one prevails. So if you want to stick around, check that out. Stay tuned. Well, guys, we're going to have to start this morning with some island time. Uh, it's an incoming tide and there's only a little bit of island left and it's going to be gone here and not too long. So we're going to let Lily run around and then we're going to try to get on some fish. I know. It's either now or never. It's early, but got to get that island time in. Water's already coming in the island. You know, we love fishing, but I think one of the, the best parts we love about coming out here is taking her out, letting her run around like a maniac. She just loves it so much, and we just love seeing her happy. Uh, you know, and all the fish we pull in, that's just icing on the cake. So sometimes you just gotta enjoy being out with your family. Man, it is cooling off getting a little breezy just see the bug <laughs> not a good way to start so today we just have shrimp that's all we can get and right now I'm just dropping Kimberly on the fish finder rig. Like that, with a two out circle hook. See what we can get. And then I'm gonna set up over here. I got a bottom sweeper jig. I believe this is like a one ounce. I don't think this is the bottom sweeper jig brand. That's another generic brand. See what we can come up with. Kim's hooked up already. What you got, baby? What you got? Oh, I got a nice sheep head. Oh, oh, do I need a net? Need a net? Oh, wait a little, little. Let me net. Let me net. Let me. That's a good size sheep's head right there. All right. Kim's already got the sheep's head. That's definitely a keeper. 13 and a half. Good job, baby. Sweet. Second drop. Kim's just got a little fish finder rig, about a uh, 25 pound liter, uh, two watt inline circle hook, and an ounce and a half weight. There we go, here we go again. Hooked up again. Oh, got him, got him. Man, you're killing it. Man, I know you guys love it. I'm gonna hear it in the comments. Kim's whooping my butt again. Oh man, just shy of 15 inches. Good job, baby. Kim's hooked up again. Holy cow. Oh, Margate. Yeah, I don't need enough for that. Little guy, we'll let him go back. Oh. These are good eating if they're a lot bigger, more like sheep's head size. Cool little fish though. There's a black Margate, no size limits, but we like them sheep's head size. Uh, you know, sheep's head are 12 inches minimum, 
and uh, I think eight per person, but we like to keep them where they're closer to 14 inch. Nice one. Oh, what do you got? Uh, oh, moonfish. Holy crap. I don't think I've ever caught one of these here. Moonfish, AKA look down. Lily doesn't like it. It just disappears. That's a uh, look down, AKA moonfish. And uh, these are actually pretty good eating if they're bigger, but he's kind of small. You could eat him, but you know, I don't think there's any size regulations, but we're just gonna let him go. I'm just gonna hold him up a little bit. Maybe just try to get a screenshot for you. Bye. That was pretty cool. Finally, got a decent one. Oh, lost him. Oh, finally got one. Decent fish. I lost them. There goes Kimber. Nice one. Yeah. Oh yeah, there we go, baby. Nice sheep's head. Oh man, that's gonna be the PB of the day. Holy crap. Sixteen inch sheep's head. Woo! It's killing it. He really Oh sheep's head. Dinner in the bu dinner in the box. Just goes to show you, you don't need uh, fancy bottom sweeper jigs, expensive ones to catch these sheep's head. She's doing all on a inline circle hook. I always get questions about like, you know, what's biting, are the sheep's head biting? You know, are, are they in yet? Is the, are the sheep's head coming? How big are they? I'm like, subscribe to the channel, watch weekly. Sometimes we post videos twice a week. So, you know, that's the way you're gonna know. And if you can give this uh, video a thumbs up, it'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll get Kim tied up and we'll get back to fishing. Uh, spot tail, a little small. These are decent eating too. I know a lot of people call them trash fish, but they're nice white meat. A little smaller than we like though. If I'm gonna fillet a fish, it's gonna be worth the while. Finally. Finally, yep. Did you got did you get one? Ken's hooked up, I'm hooked up. Alright. I'm oh yeah, I'm getting them with the net. I don't want to lose them. Oh, I slipped. Oh, slip, slip, slip. Oh, you got <laughs> I thought you had a sheep's head too. 15 and three quarters. Put him in the box real quick so we can let that spot tail go. We haven't got an undersized sheep's head yet. It's crazy. Spot tail, little guy going back. Woo! Do I get a fist pounder? Yeah, finally. Man, struggle bus today. Tim's been killing it, which I'm not really upset about because she's the best catch of them all. I caught her, so I, caught, I, I think I'm a winner. Oh, nice. Uh, he may be small. Yeah, he looks a little small. Oop. Oh, sorry, Lily. Sorry, little old. Yeah, this looks like we'll probably let him go back. He might, he might be legal, but yeah, this guy's 11 and a half. Our first uh, undersized sheep's head. Here you go, buddy. Sorry, pumpkin. Sorry. Man, the rocking and rolling out here. You can see where it's been getting tore up. See all the little paint chips missing? Those are bites. But. I only got one in the boat, so bites don't count. Got another one, another nice one. Oh man. Oh, this is, a, oh, this might be the biggest of the day. Oh man. All right, Gimber, you got him? Let's not lose this guy. All right. Oh man, monster. Monster sheep said, "Holy crap! Look at this guy." 
Kimberly's running. Oh, that's why I knit them. Those, these hooks tend to pop out sometimes. Biggest of the day, 17 inch sheep's head. Woo! Cha-ching! And you want these like medium sized shrimp for these sheep's head. You don't want to send those jumbo ones down. The tiny ones are okay too, but uh, about medium size like that. Bite size, like I call it. Oh, Kim hooked up. Another nice one. Another nice one. Looks like, right? Oh yeah. Oh man. You were gonna try to beat my, the PB for the day, huh? Oh man. Another big one. Almost 17. So, good job, baby. Good job. Man, still got the biggest so far, but it's, this one's right there at it. It's just under 17, 16 and three quarters. Tim's hooked up. What do you got? Decent one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. a spot tail. Yep. I mean, if these get much bigger, we'll take some home. There we go, a little spot tail going back. Good one. Oh man. Oh yeah, he might be a keeper. He might keep. Okay. He's kind of little. Yeah, how about... Yeah, he's 13, but we'll let him go. Good job, baby. Uh oh, netter, netter. All right, let's go, baby. Oh, there you go, another nice one. Sweet. Man, it's rocky. Just open your bay a little bit. There you go. Stop. Close it. There you go. There we go. Good job, baby. That's a nice one. Sixteen-inch sheep's head. You get your picture, baby. Good job. Whew. You know, I love my fist pants. Man, we're on our one man limit almost. I think we've got six in there. Two more than this, one man limit. But that's plenty of filleting to do. <laughs> I could go home anytime now at this point. Good grief, Kimberly. Oh, spot tail. Going back. Uh oh, big one. Oh, yeah, that's probably a keeper. Probably 14. I caught him out of that, that little piece of shrimp again. <laughs> little tiny. And Kim's been catching them on this, you know, not the whole shrimp, but after they've been chewed off. Oh. 13 and a half. What do you say? All right. Kim says keep them. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's our one man limit guys, but you know, but we're almost out of shrimp. So I don't think there's any way we're gonna hit that two man limit. That's a sheep's head. Yeah, a little guy, a little sheep's head. Lucky day, buddy, you going back. He's undersized. Uh oh. Oh, look at that. Oh, tiny little spot tail. That is the smallest spot tail pinfish I've ever seen. Little guy. Nice one. I'm changing batteries out and another good one. Oh, let me get the net out there. Oh yeah. Oh man, this might be the, I don't know. I keep saying 
This is gonna be the, the best one of the day, but. I cut it on another little. <laughs> a little, like, I just didn't want to bother you changing out the battery. <laughs> so I got a little. Oh, I'm here trying to do a battery swap and Kim catches a whopper. Well, they're 16 and a half. Yeah, baby. But let me get his tail this way. All right, going in the box. All right, last shrimp. It's not even a whole shrimp, it's just a piece of shrimp. Make it happen, Kimber. Uh oh, Kimberly sucked up. Not decent. Oh, uh, little 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 guy. Man, this goes to show you don't need those fancy jigs. Kim's been killing it today with just a simple little fish finder rig and a two watt uh, inline circle hook. Right, guys so the fish finder rig won out today uh, it seems like the the shrimp works really well with that inline circle hook and uh, the fish finder rig the just I you know I you've seen my videos I do catch quite a bit on the bottom sweeper jig with the shrimp but it seems like it works much better with sand fleas or fiddler crabs but those have been really hard to come by so um, you know, if you know where they're at, you let me know. <laughs> but uh, we've uh, looked around at quite a few places, called around, and just nobody has them. So you can still catch sheep's head with shrimp. So get out there and, uh, you know, get on some sheep's head. It's that time of year. But uh, hit that subscribe button, follow all our adventures, and give us a thumbs up. That would be greatly appreciated. And until we see you next time, guys, stay salty. Bye. Say bye, pumpkin.